Hello and welcome to another reading vlog. So this is my second reading vlog. I did one last month and a lot of you guys seemed to really enjoy it and I thought about doing another one this month. It's going to be a week of my life and a week of my reading and actually I am reading I'm try, and I'm going to try to read two books this week and the first one of that is actually going to be a reread and that is A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. Penguin Teen reached out to me and wanted me to be a part of the Ember reread campaign so thank you so much to Penguin Teen. It is sponsored by them. I just want to be fully transparent transparent with you. So Penguin Teen um, earlier this month had a Ember reread for the first book, Ember in the Ashes, and then obviously they're, having, they're extending their campaign to read A Torch Against the Night, which by the way, I have already read both of these, so this is not going to be brand new reads for me at all. I actually have single, I hopefully have single reviews for both of these videos already, which I will link down below as well as on a card up here. But yeah, um, A Reaper at the Gates, which is the third book in this series, coming out next month. So I obviously need to be refreshed because it's been a couple years since I've read this, and I really have a lot of fond memories of this series. And it's great timing because I have been kind of getting out of YA fantasy lately, which I don't know why. There just hasn't been a ton that have really sparked my interest. But just knowing that I'm going to be rereading one of my favorite YA fantasy series makes me so, so happy. So yeah, that is my number one book I'm planning to read this month. Um, also, there will be a live show on Penguin Teen Facebook on June the 2nd for Torch Against the Night, talking all about it. So be sure to check that out. Also, there is a pre-order sweepstakes for A Reaper at the Gates, the third book, which I will leave the link down below if you want to enter that, which I highly recommend you do. If you're interested in this series, this series is kind of, it's a YA fantasy series, like I said. It's kind of got a Roman spin on it. We follow a slew of characters and there's there's people that are kind of in the rebellion. There's people that, um, are training to be kind of evil and they're trying to stray away from that and then all these people team up and it's just an amazing series that I'll talk about more later this week. Anyway, so that's the first book I'm planning to read this week is A, Re or is a Torch Against the Night. The other book I really plan to read because why not make this a YA fantasy week is A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Maas. This is the fourth book technically in the um, Court of Thorns and Roses series. It's kind of like a novella if you will. It's very very short. It's only like 200 pages I think. Yeah and then I think you get a sneak peek of what is going to be next in the series. So this one's going to be very very fast to fly through. I'm pretty sure this is going to take up the majority of the time because just look at the sheer difference. But I mean I love Farrah and Ryzan so any chance to read more of them I will do. So those are my reading plans this week. If I maybe get to those I'm going to try to read this one right here which is Always Never Yours by Emily Wiberly and Austin Siegman Broke Broca. I've just heard a ton of good things about it and I want to check it out but I'm not sure. We'll have to just see how the week goes. So I just finished working out. Um, this is gonna be a long intro. I apologize. I just finished working out. I got myself ready. My kid's still sleeping miraculously. I actually took two weeks break of working out because I had pulled, I had strained and or pulled, I don't know what the proper terminology is, um, an abdominal muscle, like really like right below my rib cage and it hurt to bend and it hurt to like kind of jump. So I went to the doctor and they were like, you need to take a break till it heals, which is not the best because you know, I think if I don't work out, my mindset is not all there for like losing weight. So luckily I haven't gained any weight, just stayed right the same. But it's finally healed now, so I worked out today for the first time in two weeks, so <sighs> a lot of you guys wanted to hear about my workout journey, so that's why I'm sharing it. Um, in my past reading vlog, I shared with you what exactly videos I do to work out, so I'll link those again down below if you want to check it out. Today was aerobics, and I did good. My abdominal muscle is fine, so yeah, so today... I haven't been eating that well either, so today is just really at the start of a reading vlog and a start of a kickstart again for losing weight. So I worked out today and I'm eating a lot healthier. I already have my meals planned and stuff like that. So yeah, this week's just going to be another typical week for me. And the whole wedding this week, which is fun. Hopefully I'll take you guys along for that. Um, it depends. Let me tell you right now. I... I love being a wedding photographer, but it it's it's hard work. It's oh, such hard work. Join me this week as I read two YA fantasy books, and I'm really hoping these kickstart like my love of YA fantasy again because it's kind of just faded away, and I don't want that to happen. So, yeah, here's hoping Monday goes well. I eat well, I work out well, and all of those things. Let's do Monday. I actually have three pieces of book mail I just got. Wasn't expecting any of them, so let's do an unboxing for you all. Sometimes I get lots of book mail, sometimes I don't. I always say that. The first one is from Macmillan, so let's open it up and see. The book from Macmillan that I just got sent is called, if I can get it, oh, here it is, Carousel Beach by Orly 
Conic. I don't know. I think it's like a chiclet book or summer book. I don't know. They also sent me a ton of goodies. They sent me like this little carousel keychain looking thing. They sent me a an ornament that's random <laughs> of a uh, ornament of carousel beach like a horse from care like carousel and that says the title on it they also sent me a beach bag looking on it from like tour forge and they also sent me a pair of sunglasses which is always nice do feel kind of cheap but i'll wear them why not <laughs> so anyway thank you so much to um Forge, I guess, technically Macmillan. Technically Macmillan, I can never, I never remember like the subsidiaries of like publishers and all that stuff. I'm an Schuster, and I do think I know what this one is because I did request this. And that is Dear Mrs. Bird by A.G. Pierce. It's supposed to be like a, um, kind of like a historical fiction. It's London, 1940, and it's about a, it says an irresistible debut set in London during World War II about an adventurous young woman who becomes a secret advice columnist. So I can't wait to read this one. This one comes out, I think, oh, I don't know, honestly, July. So we've got quite a while, but I can't wait to read it. Definitely want to check it out. So thank you so much to Simon & Schuster for that. Lastly, I have another box, and it's um, Book Pop. I actually think I did an unboxing for them in my last reading vlog, and it's from Cork. They sent it to me monthly, and they have like a theme each month. And I think last month's theme was like color, so they sent me a couple of like, not coloring books, but kind of books about color. Comic Con edition, which is awesome because, you know, Comic Con's big deal. I don't ever go to one because money <laughs> but anyway they sent two books they sent night of the living trekkies they thought space was the final frontier they were wrong it's like zombies but like star trek <laughs> that's amazing i have to give this maybe to somebody that loves star trek and the other one they sent me is the con artist live at comic con july um so yeah i don't know what this is exactly this is the the author this is um the comic book industry can be murder. This is by comic book artist Mike Miller. I think it's like like a zombie novel set in Comic Con, which sounds really interesting. I mean, look at the cover. So both of these are really cool. Cork always comes up with like the coolest like books. They also sent me a lanyard that says like zap, pow, bam, They're like you know all the comic book stuff. So this is perfect for if you go to a con. I don't, cause money. Um, they also sent me a little um sucker with like a little superhero thing on it and a little cape that's adorable my someone like that and they also sent some pop rocks it's been it's been a minute since i've had pop rocks so, anyway thank you to forge simon and schuster and cork for sending me some awesome stuff i will wear this lanyard whenever i go to a comic con in like 50 years i don't know i would love to go to one but will it happen not sure. Hello, happy Tuesday. Um, <laughs> I feel like this vlog is already so boring, but tis life is boringness. Last night, I finished a book. I finished a uh, Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Maas. I'm not surprised I finished it because it's only like a lot, I guess, technically. It's 228 pages. Then you get a little sneak peek of what's going to happen next in the next book, and that's like maybe 20 pages. So this is like a 250 page book. I'm not surprised I finished it all. Um, I liked it. I didn't love it. And that's kind of the general consensus of a lot of people that read this book. Either you really, really enjoy it or you're like, okay with it. Or you're just like, why was this book written? And I kind of fall in the middle. Um, this book technically, I don't think needed to happen. Nothing really happened in this book. There wasn't a huge plot. It was just like the winter solstice and people were shopping and, you know, characters talked and things like that. But nothing as far as plot really happened um i think i think this book was obviously written to kind of catch up with characters see they're doing after the war and also to kind of show you a little bit of what's going to happen like in the installment in the next installment in the series is it still the same series i don't know but i think that could have happened in the last book in courts of wing and ruin you would have just put a couple of extra chapters at the end of that like introducing the next um people were going to follow. Um, I think that would have been easier. I don't know if this necessarily needed to be written. Did I enjoy it? Yes, because I'm a sucker for these characters, but I don't find this book 100% necessary at all. I give this one like, I don't know, 3.75, 4, whatever book I read. Um, I didn't read a ton of, yeah, I'm only like 10 pages into um, Torch Against the Night. So, I'm reading this slowly, but I need to like really pick it up. So I'm hopefully gonna read like a hundred plus pages tonight. Hello, I'm back with two pieces of book mail. I'm expecting one more, so just so we know. 
The first one's right here. This is from Simon & Schuster. It is A Sin Such as This by Ellen Hopkins. I have yet to read an Ellen Hopkins novel. And I think usually she writes like in verse, like poetry. This one is not. Fabulous sex-filled masterpiece of mystery and romance. Um, okay. Is this a YA book? I don't know. I haven't heard of this book, so thank you so much, Simon & Schuster. And then I got... This huge box. Oh, I think I know what this is, and I just really was very, in, I'm very interested in this book. So there's a lot of confetti we have in it. I'm excited. So, let me show you the book, and I'll show you all the many other things they sent me. So they sent me Fury Born by Claire Legrand. Legrand. I don't know, but either way, like I said, since finishing um, A Court of Frost and Starlight and reading Reaper at the Gates, it's kind of really, it's kind of sparked YA fantasy for me again. I keep hearing really good things about this book, so I was going to buy it, honestly. Like, I already had a Amazon cart, and then it showed up today. So thank you so much to Sourcefire Books. They sent me a finished copy. It's beautiful, too. It says, two young women centuries apart hold the power to either save the world or doom it. So I think this is told, like, from the past, from, like, a queen, Hashbam queen. Then I'm going to follow, like, a thousand years later. Um, and then we follow a bounty hunter, Elena. And basically, like, they're tied to each other. I don't know, but I think I'm going to read this next because I just keep hearing more things about it. They also sent me some other things. Ooh, look at this pretty bookmark. It's all holographic or shiny. I don't know. I'm going to use that with a book. Um, they also sent me um, a playing card. Simon. Then they sent me a little notebook with a pen. Oh, that's awesome. I love, love getting notebooks with pens. Oh, there's a whole bunch of playing cards. We have all, their, all of our main characters. So we have her... And we have Remy. I don't know who any of these people are. We have Audric. I like that name. We have Corin, And we have Elena. That's nice. Oh, we also have Rael. She looks like she's a fire queen or something. Um, I also have a couple of buttons. I have Ask Me If I'm a Sun or Blood Queen. Um, oh, actually, yeah. Ask Me If I'm a Sun or Blood Queen. I'll probably use that for a giveaway. Thank you so much to Simon & Schuster, Atria, for sending me this book. And thank you so much to Source Books for sending me Furyborn. I'm going to make this my next read instead of... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm feeling because I always try to read with mashup reviews now in mind. But either way... I'm excited to read this. So thank you so much to Source Books and for all this candy that I'm probably about to eat, but probably shouldn't. Oh well. Hello, we are outdoors now because it's a beautiful day. Um, it's been feeling like oh my gosh, <laughs> it's been feeling like summer lately, which is great. Um, not for I said I had more piece of book mail. <laughs> well, two. I don't. I, I don't get this much book mail. I think it's like somehow the mail. I don't know, knows when I'm filming a reading vlog and they just send me all of the book mail. Either way, I'm super grateful for it. And then I got it from Atrio, which is a division of Simon & Schuster. And I went ahead and pre-opened it because it's easier when I'm outside. And, oh, It's Us Against You by Frederick Bachman. Actually, this is so weird because in my last reading vlog last month, I got sent the first book in the series called Bear Town, which I have yet to read. So. Now I'm definitely going to read it back to back. So this is the second book in his series. Um, I don't know which one is this about. I think Bear Town is about like a Swedish town that is all about hockey and it's a lot deeper and um, intense than all of his other books. Um, let me a Finnish hardback copy of this. So I don't know. I feel like my reading plans keep changing for this month. Like I want to read some Y fantasy, but I want to save that for next month when I can read three together and then group them in a match review. So now I kind of want to read both Bear Town and then Us Against You. But either way, thank you, Atria. And the other package I got is from, who are you from? Bloomsbury. And you can already get a little hint of what it is. Here by Tara Alta Brando. This, I have yet to read a Tara Alta Brando book. So I don't know if this, I think this is a YA one. It's a thriller. Um... That's all I know about it. Little note, like, I think it's about a cruise line, and it comes, like, from a note with the cruise line, so that's kind of cool. Oh my gosh, is this a thriller on the cruise line? I've read those before. They creep me out because, like, you're stuck. You can't go anywhere. Look at that. It's a starlight cruise line vacation. It's a passenger's heather. That's me. With, like, a little, um, knot, a nautical knot on it. That's cute. I use all of those up. <laughs> and then we have... Oh, some sunblock, I think, which is great. So this is from E Thermal. This is 50. Oh, it's actually like sunblock. Like it's literally in a block. And it's um, SPF 50, which is great because we go through sunblock like crazy in this house. 
says the woman who's currently burned. Um, and then I have a little LA Fresh Travel Light antibacterial wipe, the fume. This is like if you're going to a hotel or something. And then lastly, I think we have some lip gloss. That's nice. This is from, who are you from? This is from It's Cosmetics, light pinky one. Oh, it's like, it's not even a color. It's just straight up, it's just gloss, so. <whistles> it smells nice. I think it's from It Cosmetics though, which is a pretty crazy brand. That's some sunblock, you want some sunblock? Okay, thank you. And they just sent that. Um, excuse me. He's just gonna take all of this stuff. I'm gonna sit outside. I'm going to play with my kid. He's playing with the water and stuff like that because it's like 85 degrees, um, and I'm gonna read when I can. everyone it's been it's been a day what they started off bright and early at 5 a.m um you know what woke me up this morning a bird a bird right outside my window decided to like tweet 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 like for the, like literally that same tweet 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 like every two minutes like every time i'm like oh he went away and go back to sleep nope and then my kid woke up at like six <sighs> I'm tired, but I still worked out and I weighed in because today is weigh-in Wednesday and I actually gained a pound and a half, so not that great today, not that great. But, you know, as you saw, I did get some work done because my in-laws watched him for a couple hours, so thank you so much, in-laws, I love you. And I look decent because I filmed three videos because I'm just a glutton for punishment. <laughs> like, I just, I'm addicted to work. I have a wedding this Saturday, so I'm just like, I gotta film all of my stuff, so it's good to go for next week, so I'm just focus on editing. So, anyway, let me update you on my reading progress, because I have read a little bit. Today, this week's just not the best reading week for me, for some reason. I have read about 100 pages of Torch Against the Night, and I'm loving it. I'm not surprised, because, you know, it's a reread for me, and I just forgot how much I love these characters. My favorite character in this series, for sure, is Helene. Helene is a bad Badass and I love it. She takes no, she just, she's amazing. I love her. I also love Elias. Laya, I'm just still on the fence. Like, I think I rewatched my review on this book and I said the same thing. Like, I just don't know what to feel about Laya and I'm feeling the exact same way. But either way, um, it's a little bit slow, this book, because a lot of it is like traveling, which sometimes with, what, with fantasy books is just not a lot happens with the plot other than traveling like they'll go to a city and a skirmish happens and they'll travel again and that kind of thing so i feel like this book's real good part of it is like the beginning the very first hundred pages and the very last hundred pages and i feel like the middle's just kind of the travel part where it kind of meanders but either way is this getting me very excited about YA fantasy again so i'm very very excited for that as you saw yesterday when I got Furyborn. Can't wait to read that. And I'm about, how many pages am I into this? Like 70 pages of um, Always Never Yours. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm not loving it, which I'm surprised because there are a ton of five-star reviews on this book on Goodreads. And I'm just feeling like it's okay so far. So I don't know. Either way, I'm hoping to finish these. Like I said, this week, usually I fly through books, but this week is just kind of a lot of meandering reading for me for some reason. A book mail. <laughs> Who's surprised? So I came home to this right here. This is from, who are you from? Simon & Schuster's. And I, I don't know what it is. Am I hoping it's one thing? Yes. Is it going to be? I don't know. Let's open up and see. So, there's a lot of, you know, confetti in here. Don't let my kid see that. Oh, by the way, did my kid take a nap? No, he did not. I'm tired. <laughs> yes, it's what I was hoping for. It's a finished copy. Not an arc. A finished copy of Save the Day by Morgan Madsen. So excited for this one. Look at the back. It's a little beagle. Oh, this is signed. I did not expect this to be signed. Oh, I am. Oh, look at on the back too. This is, I'm obsessed with this already. Look at this. So this is the inside cover and it says, Great Grand Central Station, Eleanor Grant. 
I don't know what that is. Is her mom a cartoon artist or something? I don't know. Don't care. Gonna read the crap out of this. So, if you're not familiar with Maury Madsen, she is a very popular YA contemporary author, which is just junk food to me. I can eat. All, I can read all of the YA contemporaries and be happy. Um, but she's one of my favorites. Um, and this book is about a wedding. Which, what do I do, guys? I read books, yes, but I also take pictures at weddings, so... I mean, this is like my life. I'm reading about taking pictures. Of, I'm reading about a wedding. How exciting is that? So this book comes out in the very beginning of June, and you bet your bottom dollar I'm reading this thing. Can't wait to read it. And just get here, and on the inside, oh, crap. Look at these stickers. There's like a koala bear, an engagement ring. Yes, going to use that for my photo shoot days. Um, Paul prints or bouquet of flowers to save the date. A little beagle. <sighs> planner oh these are my life stickers and it's just a little notebook that's I might put this in a giveaway because I have so many notebooks if you want to win this let me know I'm gonna do it um and yeah that's it I'm pretty freaking excited <laughs> can you say hi hi yeah say hi <laughs> he is waving hi oh I changed my shelves um in the past week specifically like my background when you see my videos so i thought i would share with you what i did um if you haven't seen these are my shelves i have sorry this is this is the state of my living room right now <laughs> these are my shelves i have two one i have two big ones you see how tall they are they go right to the floor and all the way up there my husband built them in case you are wondering but either way i changed this shelf right here so in the background of my video you see predominantly like this view right here so you mainly see this shelf a tiny sliver of this shelf and this shelf so what used to be here was like lunar chronicles um Raven Boys, Three Dark Crowns, a lot of my favorite YA fantasy, but I thought I would change it to represent what I'm currently reading or what my reading tastes, you know, are. So I changed this half to some of my favorite adult books, and I would love to have them stand up, but <laughs> these shelves are kind of finicky where they won't fit, so I had to stack them this way. I hope that's okay, but I have a lot of my favorite books of the year, like Eleanor, Young Ding Young, The Great Alone, um, The Nightingale, um some Sophie Kinsella books, some other adult paperback books. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, I hope you guys like it. I don't know. Over here, I usually keep just some of my favorite contemporary reads that I've read. You know, I try to reflect the spines of the season, so I need to change these this summer. And yeah, so if, <laughs> that's, I need to film a bookshelf tour soon because my shelves have changed a lot. Like this is my TBR shelf full of books I need to read. That's kind of some of my favorite contemporary books. That's more TBR books. This one's changed a lot. Um, all of these have changed a lot just a lot of changes these are all the books i have have to haul this month it's a lot uh <laughs> yeah Brittany. <Hey. laughs> so i'm putting that on there we're watching trash tv get my blinds out of <laughs> oh sorry it props you said kid oh yeah we're watching trash TV. Jersey Shore. Back again with more packages. Like, what is my life? Um, let's just go through these quickly because I know you're like, she only she only unboxes box. She only unboxes mail. <laughs> you're correct. The first thing, actually, I think all of these things are from Penguin. So. Yay, thanks, Penguin. The first thing, oh, okay, is Flame in the Mist by Renee Adier. I actually have already, I already own this book and have read it, but they sent me the paperback edition, and it's a different cover, so that's awesome. I may do a giveaway for this one because I already own it, so I don't need another copy, so um, be on the lookout for that here soon. Um, the next thing, what did I say? From Penguin. <laughs> Let's see what this is. Oh, it is the sequel to Flame in the Mist. This is Smoke in the Sun. Um... I don't know if I'm going to read this book. Um, I liked Flame in the Mist. I think I gave it like a 4 out of 5. But going back on it and reflecting on it, I liked it but didn't love it. So either way, I will save this for a while and decide if I'm going to read it or not. But thank you so much to Penguin for sending me, you know, the first two books. That's awesome. I do really like the cover changes. And then the next box again from Penguin. <laughs> oh, they sent me some middle grade books. That's fun. I really need to read more middle grade books. The first one they sent me is Mad Wolf's Daughter by Diane... McGraws. That's awesome. I'll have to check that one out. Oh, this one's beautiful. This is um, A Mall Unbound by Aisha Saeed. Look how beautiful that cover is. That's stunning. 
That's awesome. And the other two they sent me is Harbor Me by Jacqueline Woodson. Woodson, I think she said, yeah, she wrote Brown, Brown Girl Dreams. This might be all told in verse. No, this one's not. It's an actual book. So that's awesome. And the last book is The Night Diary by Vera. Oh, goodness. I'm, I'm not going to try to pronounce that because I'm just going to mess it up. But beautiful cover. It's the edition of book mail today. Oh, no, there's more, actually. Um... I got my owl crate today. I just filmed that. That's why I look presentable. And I also got, goodness, my nerdy post. So yeah, my, it's a disaster down here. Hi, I'm back. Sorry about that. My camera better, my camera battery literally died like right in the middle of me talking. So that's fun. Um, let me update you on my reading because I did read a little bit yesterday. My reading just not been that great this week, I think, because when I have a wedding coming up, like my mind just literally goes scattered um i did finish always never yours by emily wimberly and austin singman broca i enjoyed it i don't think i enjoyed it as much as everyone else did honestly i gave it three and a half three point seven five out of five <laughs> sorry i'm feeding my kid a freeze pop because he's obsessed with these things <laughs> um, if you're a really big fan of um like high school drama productions and like um, Shakespeare especially, definitely read this. It's really cute and adorable and the character definitely shows a lot of growth. She's very different by the end of this book than the beginning. So I did enjoy it, would recommend it as a summer contemporary. Sorry. Yes, okay, I'm on page 300. I think this is when it starts getting really good um, because the, I've been reading this so slowly. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm my kid this freeze pop. Um, I think I'm reading this so slowly because when the first time I read it, I read it really slowly because like I keep saying, it's a big chunk of this book is traveling. So it kind of gets boring and repetitive after a while. So, but the last 200 pages, especially the last 100 pages, it's where it's at. So my plan is to read a good chunk of this tonight. I don't know if I'm going to finish it this week because Saturday I'm not going to be able to read it all because I'll be working all day and Sunday I probably won't be reading at all so I don't know either way I'll definitely finish this by like Tuesday or Wednesday for sure I know I'm a horrible booktuber but that's just how it goes well actually no this page this is only like 450 pages maybe I could do it if I push through it I think I definitely can I say hi. <laughs> hi. hi hello what have you been up to Matt working I need an go so bad mm-hmm I look like a dad right now let me just lay here and breathe in slow. This aching in my head sinks in my bones. And no, oh, 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 this is one. Hi, it's Sunday, and I look. But anyway, I thought I would just say hi, update you that, you know, I'm still alive from that wedding. Goodness, I love doing weddings, but they, when I say they physically and emotionally and mentally wear me out, they do. This is such a long day. Anyway, I thought I would update you on my reading. I'm totally like crouching down, by the way. I also got some more book mail. Who's surprised? So I actually got this from um, my bookmark. They contacted me and wanted to send me a few of their bookmarks to review and things like that. So I thought I would show you the ones I got because I picked two. And oh yeah, this is my most favorite one that I really wanted. And I've been eyeing my bookmark for a long time. So I'm so excited they reached out to me. Bookmarks, if you've never seen them before, um, they're kind of like just a cute, like, Thing. This is um, this is what it looks like. It says between the pages of a book is a lovely place to be, and I picked the um, Harry Potter Quidditch ones. Um, so I'll show you how they work. It has like Deathly Hallows and um, the lightning bolts and all that kind of stuff. So this one, like I said, is a Harry Potter one. So this has a quote from Dumbledore: "Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If only one, if on, if one only remembers to turn on the light." And then you got the Quidditch feet at the bottom. So what you do is you grab your book and you just put it in there and. Only the problem is you don't put it at the top, you put it at the bottom. So it looks like little feet are sticking out of your book. How adorable is that? I'm obsessed with these. Like, this is so cute. I love it. Or you could even, like, put it, like, at the top if you really wanted to. Just to shake it up. That's cute. But either way, I love this. And the other one I picked out, I got specific, specifically for, like, the summertime. Because I thought this would be such a great bookmark for summer. And that is the mermaid fin. Look at that. I'm so excited. My friend's gonna love this because she's obsessed with mermaids. Mermaid fin at the bottom and it says, I belong to the sea. And again, just like your other ones, you're gonna put it at the bottom. And then you're gonna have a mermaid fin sticking out of it. How 
Oh, that's so adorable. I'm obsessed with these. So either way, thank you so much to my bookmark for sending me these. I'm going to do an Instagram post on them and stuff like that, but I'm going to use the crap out of these. So yeah. Um, right now I'm going to play with my kid and I'm going to update you guys on my reading in just a little bit. Back again. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog because it's been a long week, guys. It's been a, it's been a week. <laughs> Seriously though, I feel like I have not done a very good reading vlog this week. So for that, I apologize. I always start off the week thinking I'm going to do great with vlogs. And then by midweek, I'm like, why? Why did I decide to do this? Because this is the yeah. worst and the most yeah. boring thing ever. <laughs> so yeah, regardless, if you didn't like it, I'm very sorry. I understand. This week was literally just me updating you my reading and showing you my book mail. And that was like it. So maybe next time I do one of these, I will be more interesting look better because holy crap i look like a freaking hot mess right now and i totally am like <laughs> no makeup acne life anyway so for this last clip i thought i would just share with you what i read this week because i i kept thinking about today i'm like this week was not that great of a reading week but then i looked at the books i read i'm like oh it was a pretty good reading week actually so i read three books this week well Almost three books. We'll get to that. So the first book I read was A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Moss. I gave this three and a half, three point seven five out of five. I, I mean, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed catching up with the characters, but I don't feel like it was 100% necessary, this book being published, that is. So that's kind of a downfall. So yeah, I read that one, which this is like plenty, but I'm still going to count as books. It's like a published book. It's like 200 something pages. Then I read Always Never Yours. But this one kind of got me in a slump, which is very odd for me. Usually contemporaries never get me in a slump ever to read because ultimately I enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy it as much as everyone else did. So I give this one a 3.25, maybe three and a half. I mean, it was cute, but I wish I liked it more, honestly. Um, the last book, um, well, it's a reread technically, but whatever, is A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. I'm like literally 30 pages away from being done. I will try to finish it tonight if I'm not editing, but I mean, I'm really enjoying it. I'm going to give it the same rating I gave the first first time I read it which is like four to four and a half. I think I enjoyed it as much as the first one just because the first one's much more action telling and sets up things. This one has a lot of traveling. I keep saying time and time again and the love square but the last hundred pages of this book are phenomenal. Like it gets so action-packed things happen and things that you don't expect happen like the ending of that book. I can't say anything because I don't want to spoil it but like it threw me for a freaking loop. So I would highly recommend this series. I am, especially if you're interested in YA fantasy, you definitely should read it because it's such a thrilling, action-packed, um, and just such a diverse and just amazing fantasy series. And I can't wait to read Reaper. And I can't wait to read Reaper at the Gates next month. You best believe it's on my TBR. I'm actually thinking about reading a whole bunch of fantasy, YA fantasy now because this has kind of got me in the mood for it. But yeah, this one, I mean, I'm like 30 pages away from being done, but I feel like this was a hunker of a book and it took me all freaking week to reread it because it's like 400 plus pages. Hey, thank you so much to Penguin Team for sponsoring this video. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I know it was just, it was not, it's probably not enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll do one of these every month so next month maybe I'll get my stuff together and like have a decent you know content for you guys you guys have a great rest of your week and yeah I'll see you soon looking a lot better hopefully <laughs> is this a future booktuber? you gonna read that book?